Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for our feature fight of the night, scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the featherweight division, presented to you by Blue Chew. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears black trimmed in gold, silver, and red. He stands five feet nine inches tall. His official weight, 150.3 pounds. He holds a veteran's bare knuckle record of four victories opposite three defeats. Fighting out of Villa Rica, Georgia. Here is Rowdy Rusty Crowder. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears white. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. His official weight, 145.9 pounds. He holds an undefeated bare-knuckle record at 2-0. and oh. Fighting out of Great Falls, Montana! Here is the undefeated, the outcast, Kai Hefty Bell. And our referee in charge of the action, Big Dan Mergliata. Rusty Crowder, who has a very measured personality, has really been bonded by Kai Stewart. He said he's overconfident, he's never fought anyone at my level, and I'm not concerned with anything that he has. Round number one, white trunks for Kai Stewart, black trunks for Rusty Crowder. On this separation, Dan Mergliata immediately taking charge. Didn't like the way he through after he said break. That's great wrestling from Ogolata. The jab from Kai Stewart on the entry. Crowder with the right hand, left hand. Free right negated by Crowder. Good defense, right hand. That's in the step of Kai Stewart. You see the head movement. Crowder pulling the right hand back. Overhand right misses from Kai Stewart. 30 seconds gone, round one of our future battle. I'm surprised Crowder's standing more in the middle than you can. Blocked that time by Kai Stewart with the left forearm. Swing and a miss on the entry right from Stewart. You can really tell right now that Crowder's just looking to wait for his right time to counter him. From Kai Stewart. Switch step left hand. Really worked. The idea was that from Kai Stewart. Crowder showing his professionalism, his experience, his composure. Ten years older than Stewart at age 32. The right hand misses. Stewart circling out. Smear of blood on the face of Kai Stewart. Let's see how Stewart deals with that. Hasn't had to deal with that adversity yet in this sport. Stewart's cut inside of his right brow. Overhand right misses badly from Stewart. And now Crowder bringing this fight to the tempo that he wants. Not the high-paced tempo that Stewart wants. Stewart again, no success, no joy on that overhand right. Final seconds, round number one. Right hand from Rusty Crowder. Overhand right back from Stewart, did not win. Crowder coming forward again into the pocket. Counter right hand, right hand then right back from Rusty Crowder. The bell, that's the end of round one. The main thing is that you can just... Both fighters up to scratch. A little knuckle up from Dan Mergliata, round number two underway. Like right, bullet punch from Crowder, didn't land. Now Crowder, we talked about him being bothered, uncharacteristic for Crowder. Talking to Kai Stewart. Just put his hands down around, around his waist right there and there is the point to come into him. And there's right there where Stewart needs to work. To the clinch, right hand, and the exit left. You can just tell Crowder doesn't have much respect for the power of Stewart. Crowder again trying to throw that rear right bowler punch. Big swings, big misses thus far from Kai Stewart. 125 remaining round two. Stewart up the jab. Crowder backs him up with the jab. Different style of fighting for Russell Crowder right now. Staying right in the middle. He's, he's a guy back pulling him right now. Stewart again coming forward again missing. Oh, proving to be a relatively elusive target. 60 seconds remaining in round number two. Jab from Crowder overhand right off the mark. Swings now, big misses from Rusty Crowder. Right 
to the body. The right cross that landed for Kai Stewart. And that'd be a good thing for Stewart to do. He's having trouble landing to the head because Weston Pratt is so elusive. But you know what's not going to move very well is that body. So go the body, slow him down, then move up throws after him. Yeah, flowing freely. Cut inside of Stewart's right brow, which opened in round number one. Cut a lateral movement now from Kai Stewart. It was Crowder who told us in our final meeting, I can't stand directly in front of Kai Stewart. But it's Crowder now pushing forward central, trying to beat this fight. Just a good 10-second clack. Early to the end of round number two, overhand right just misses from Crowder. Stewart still coming forward off the jab, right hand. Next stop, round three. Not a lot of respect between these guys still. You can see right there how that round did it. Right here you can see, good job right now, got to land that back. Left hand right to the chin of Kai Stewart. Tried to come back with it again. Kai Stewart entered the ring for the introduction from Jeff Houston. He ran by Crowder's corner. In front of the double middle finger. Crowder shot back the single middle finger. You can see here a little split in the judges right there. Two of the judges giving that round to Crowder. One of them giving it to Kai Stewart. The judging has been great tonight. Real time scoring again. Those are the actual three judges, official scorecards. We know it. The corners, the fighters, they know it as well, round by round. The best innovation in combat sports, and David Feldman brought back Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. In a great motion. You can tell Kai Stewart feels a little bit of a sense of urgency right now. He's stepping up his game right now, coming with more punches. Stewart was telling Morgliata he was poked in the eye, but didn't want time. We fight on. I think he feels like he has superior cardio here, and so he wants to push the patience back in place. First switch stance is Kai Stewart. A lot of movement from Stewart. You're not seeing a lot of landing to this stage in the fight. Crowder big swings walking down Stewart now into the clinch overhead right. Back from Kai Stewart right hand knock there. Total strikes landed right there. You can see Crowder not landing nearly as many, but a much more. Is that right in number five? There's the champ from Kai Stewart. Right hand to the body. Once again, Kai being much more active. You can feel he has that sense of urgency. I'm losing this fight. I got to change the way things are going. He's doing it right now. Jab to the body, jab to the head. Slick sequence from Kai Stewart. Now they're trying to work off of his own one. Takes the overhand right. We'll find a Russell Crowder in position. We don't normally see him trying to be the aggressor. On cue, Crowder walking forward to the center circle. Stewart never change right to the body. Stewart, ever so subtly starting to land punches to Crowder's body. 20 seconds remaining, round three. And right back there. Stiff jab from Guy Stewart. Punches that were once easy for Wrestling Crowder, the blocker, starting to get through now. Crowder initiating that clinch. Good turn from Ty Stewart. Crowder with the left hand, now the right hand, another left hand, counter right hand. That's the end of round three. Much better round right there for Ty Stewart. Felt like he wasn't good enough, nearly enough, and so he decided I'm going to step up on getting being the first to the punch and the last. That's what he talked about going for. Now we're going to get the person to face first, but the person to face last. Here's a little bit of the action. Really jab with the man like Kyle Stewart. Like that. How about that right hand? And Russell Crowder came in. Just a nice little turnaround there by Kyle Stewart. That's probably one of the best little parts of the entire fight right there. Elusive, not getting hit for Kyle Stewart. One in the eye of Dan Bergliana at the end of the round. Not the first time, won't be the last time. All three judges gave that round to Kai Stewart. No surprise right there. That tightens things up quite a bit right there. We have 
Two of the judges have it one round, the one point ahead for Rusty Crowder. The other judge has it one, one point for Kai Stewart right now. Round number four. Snap jab right hand. Crowder misses with the right hand. Left to the body. Crowder holding on to the tie plum. Half tie plum with the right hand, but he's not throwing. Stewart to the body. Overhook being held by Crowder. Now the separation from Mogliano. It's as long, I think, in BKFC history as we've seen someone hold a half tie plum without throwing a punch. <laughs> Crowder was almost happy to take those punches from Kai Stewart. Kai Stewart really is trying to take this fight over right now. That's Crowder trying to get a moral victory, just feeling that Stewart not hurting him to the body, trying to be demoralizing. You see there are a lot more 100 punches being thrown to the head. 42 landing for 42 percent. Very good job done by Kai Stewart. There's a hand right from Stewart. Left hand. Now time called by Mergliotti. Stewart claiming he was poked in the right eye. That looks like William Carter had a hard, hard morning there, Sean. Be careful from Dan Mergliotti. Hard warning is next time it's a point. Second time out, Kai Stewart has taken the Aaron finger from Rusty Crowder to the eye. Jump up from Crowder. Diving in now, Kai Stewart. 30 seconds remaining, round number four of our feature fight. This has been quality in the featherweight division. Three left hook now from Rusty Crowder. Short right hand on the right uppercut. This is a very close fight. Get up the jab goes Stewart. Crowder parrying that jab. Leaping left hook on the entry for Rusty Crowder. Right hand not getting through. Definitely blocked by Crowder. Crowder looking for the snap jab coming forward. Jack left hook lands by Crowder. Left to the body from Stewart. Stewart throws from some very creative angles and they often land. We move to the fifth and final round. Right? I think we might be tied up here, so we might come down to the very last round. This round is for all the marbles. This round is for all the marbles. Rusty Crowder looks very tired right now. And Kai Stewart is just out working. Rusty Crowder is going to have to dig deep. He's going to utilize some movement right now. Get in, tie up, push Kai Stewart around. Do whatever he has to do to win this last round. Kai Stewart needs to keep doing this. He's going to be active, move around, out, and strike his opponent. As we, guys, this is what I thought, Sean. It's going to be tied up with two judges. One judge is going to have it by two points for Kai Stewart. And whoever wins this last round is going to win the fight. And this is truly the beauty of real time scoring. Both fighters literally and figuratively know the score. Our feature fight comes down to this fifth and final round. No speculation, that's fact. Fifth and final round underway. Kai Stewart versus Rusty Crowder. Overhand right on the entry from Stewart. Good left hook from Crowder. And more urgency from Crowder, right hand coming forward. He goes swings now from Crowder. That's clearly a push, clearly a slip. But we have showing the knee tap. Quick call right there. No argument, no controversy there. That was clear. Rights to the body from Stewart again. Crowder holding that half tie plum without throwing. Active clinch, Margliano allowing a good turn from Stewart in the left hand. Left hand right back from Rusty Crowder. That tie plum, and that clinch right there, well done by Kai Stewart utilizing that the entire time. To the clinch. See the S grip snatched by Crowder. He wants out of the clinch, he gets it. Smart from Crowder. Rip gets you out of the clinch. Good hook jab from Rusty Crowder. Just turn that over. And that's what Crowder needs to do. Move, circle, keep it back in the middle. He can't keep getting against that rope. He just misses with the right hand. Leaping left entry for Crowder. 
Stewart looking for the jab to the body. Continuing to show his creativity. Duck under from Ty Kai Stewart. Into the clinch down the right hand from the pocket. Again, the S grip from Rusty Crowder gets the separation from Ogilvy. Crowder's making it clear he does not want to play in the clinch in the fifth and final round. That's very smart. He doesn't shouldn't want to right now because he's losing in there. He's getting out of work. Stewart coming forward again off the jab. There's the one right back from Rusty Crowder. Rusty Crowder can put together a little flurry out he can steal this round. Down the stretch now. It comes down to this round. Both fighters going all out. There's the right hand from Ty Stewart. Into the clinch. The turn from Stewart. Overhand right. That is the end of the fight. And that's a nice moment between these two fighters. And this is going to be very interesting to see what's going to be decided right there. It's going to be the person pushing forward and the clear punch. So in real-time scoring, the corners are given the scores, the three judges, their official scores round by round, but not after the last round. So there is suspense here. Neither fighter will know the result until it is read by Jeff Houston. Hard fought, well fought from Rusty Crowder. Hard fought, well fought from Kai Stewart. Stewart was cut. As you see, inside of his right brow, that occurred in round number one. Both fighters most definitely had their moments. This is a real crossroads fight for both men. Quality at 145 pounds. Crowder's showing his persistence. Normally a fighter who is comfortable looking to counter stay outside. Definitely was more aggressive than we've seen him in his seven previous bouts in BKFC. Stewart, who entered undefeated at 2-0 in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, showing that creativity, showing that flair. Both fighters both definitely had their moments. They await along with us, along with this sold-out crowd here at the Four Seasons Arena in Great Falls, Montana. And if Stewart gets the victory, it will absolutely explode. Jeff Houston is set to end all suspects. We send it to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the decision, let's have a round of applause for these two featherweight warriors. After completing the scheduled five rounds, our judges send into the squared circle a split decision. Jamie St. Marks scores the fight 48-47 in favor of Crowder. Mike McCalman, 49-46 in favor of Stewart. And Gabriel Yellow Owl, 48-47 to the winner by split decision. The